got the mayo. Gotta go. Okay, the phone lines are blowing up, Robbie. What do you say we take some calls? I'm so ready, Levy. Who's on the line? Hey guys, uh, one time listener, first time caller. I'm so nervous. Don't be nervous. We're pretty fat. <laughs> okay, well, my name is Doug and I'm just happy to be here. What's on your mind, Dougie? Well, this morning on my way to work, I stepped in dog shit, fell and hit my head on some rich guy's car. I had a concussion and lost it for property damage, and I don't know what to do. I fucked up my face. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a pretty shitty day. It's not funny. I'm some of the house to pick up my laundry, and now I got no clean clothes either. Yeah, and the ones you're wearing are all covered in feces. Exactly. Well, Dugster, you're not alone. The animal control problem's really getting out of hand. It's so bad that Robbie has more pussies at his house than he knows what to do with. And frankly, that's just more than zero. But we're talking like 30 cats. Maybe he can sue the city. The shitty city? Just kidding, it's only a town. So there's no real laws. Sorry to be lost. Good luck, and have your mom call. You're listening to Sin City Radio, bringing you the same six songs all day, every day. Robbie, do you believe in God? It depends on how bad the hangover is, really. with BRT. Hot sauce. This is the Robbie and Lovey Show. Thanks for tuning in. Here's a track called Gravity Falls by Before the Silence. What was after the silence? Um, this song?
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chase him down, boys. Chase him! Oh, yeah, baby. Put to the head. Stop hard. Hello there, Mr. Warden. How are things in the old pokey? Ah, damn it! You better watch who you're stinking up on, punk, or else I'll lock you up with the rest of this monkey spunk. State your business. I was told you're looking to hire a new reformatory chaperone. So, another wannabe flatfoot who thinks he can last a day in my prison. Only the most qualified and physically capable are worthy of gracing these fine halls. Now look, do you see that eye chart over there? Yeah. Good, you're hired. Now head into the next room, rookie, and I'll instruct you on the proper use of your equipment. I will train you to become a hardened and proficient corrections officer. In front of you is the training dummy you'll be using to familiarize yourself with your tools. Unfortunately, they won't let us use your prisoners anymore. Open locker for your first piece of equipment, rookie. Wait, 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 hang on a sec. This damn sheet is upside down. The right code is... Ah, shit! You just activated the emergency prison release! What's up, man? Listen up, rookie. You're the last guard standing in there. I got a backup team on standby, but there's no way they're getting in with the place in full lockdown mode. You'll have to go to security stations in each of the cell blocks and manually input the override code. Each station has its own code. There should be one marked in that hub room you're in. Commit that to memory and head to the cell block first.
one and you still got to that one. Now that's a proper lethal lead injection. Done like dinner. Again. Just a vestigial
piece of cake. crash a party and don't worry i remember to tell them you were in here too rookie yeah i'll bet now how about the pay for my exemplary efforts don't worry about that either rookie the recruiter got in touch and i made sure to transfer all your day's wages to him oh great trust me you did a service worthy of every cent unfortunately your decisive handling of the disorderly conduct around here has ensured such further efforts will not be required anytime soon in the foreseeable future but cheer up, rookie. Play your cards right, and one day, you can find yourself a permanent residence in here. Hmm, I wonder what that could be. Oh, a vacancy has just opened. And by the looks of it, it's the only room available in town. Well, I'm no closer to finding my car, so I might as well check in for the day. Once I'm all done and ready, I'll just go check in here. Robbie, do you believe in God? It depends on how bad the hangover is, really. So, if you wake up next to someone as ugly as, uh, your mom, that's pretty bad, right? Oh God, it scares me every time. I'm a saint for doing it for so many months.
Everybody's crying in the corner right now, and that was Saint Varela with BRT. This is the Robbie and Lovey Show. Thanks for tuning in. Butt sauce. Butt sauce. You gotta be fucking kidding. Are ye hungry and out of munitions? Then kill two birds with one bullet and sail on down to Bubs. Robbie, as you know, this is Lovey. We're back, everyone. Is your asshole up next? Robbie, as you know, it's Mother's Day. Robbie. You're listening. Robbie, do you believe in God? It depends on how bad the hangover is, really. So, if you wake up next to someone as ugly as uh, your mom, that's pretty bad, right? I've been thinking. Oh, God. Please don't. I promise I will not shot again. <laughs> okay. Next up. Robbie, this is up. Oh. Robbie, do you believe in God? It depends on how bad the hangover is, really. So, if you wake up next to someone as ugly as uh, your mom, that's pretty bad, right? Oh, God. This scares me every time. I'm a saint for doing it for so many months. That you are. It's
Hey! Stop doing that! Hey! Say hello! Robbie! Yo! Up! Uh, this is love! Robbie! Robbie! Robbie, as you- Here's a tr Next up? Rob- Robbie, do you believe in God? It depends on how bad the hangover is, really. So, if you wake up next to someone as ugly as, uh, your mom, that's pretty bad, right? Oh god, it scares me every time. I'm a saint for doing it for so many months. Here's Saint Varela with BRT. He's crying in the corner right now, and that was Saint Varela with BRT. This is the Robbie and Lovey Show. Thanks for tuning in. Hello, friend, and welcome. We've been expecting you. I see you're now ready to embrace the facts. You know it. We know it. Our righteous leader, Josh, knows it.
two rings and I'm finished for the day. about some service here. Ah, our esteemed guest has arrived. Forgive my absence, but your job has booked you into the deluxe suite, and we were busy preparing your five-star experience. You're surely to be pleased with this speech's accommodations. Do you have any questions? Is there a free cable? I assure you, there are plenty of cables. How about a complimentary continental breakfast? Anything edible you can find is free. Oh yeah, uh, do you take that? Oh, don't worry. We accept vermin of all kinds, including yourself. Now, uh, let me show you to your own room. Have a good night's rest, fellas. And, oh, don't let the animals bite. Crap. <laughs> 